All right, hello every, what is that? Is that a, okay. <laughs> oh, oh good, do not drop the computer. Do not drop the computer, okay. All right. Mm. A McDonald's Sprite just hits different. It really does. Hello everyone. Today I am going to be showing you how I have upgraded my Google Slides to look really pretty awesome in five easy ways. So um, stay tuned, I hope you enjoy the video and hopefully you'll learn something today. I would like to give a disclaimer that my slides are nowhere near the best slides that I have ever seen. I have seen other teachers go above and beyond on their slides and I've watched videos on other teachers and how they make their slides and honestly it is just so complicated that I would never take the time to do that but I really feel like the way that I do my slides is very practical it's quick it's easy and it saves you a lot of time to just do everything within Google slides I have seen other creators make their slides in PowerPoint and then um, import everything and it just feels like a lot of time so I have found five easy ways to, to make your slides look great just using Google Slides. Okay so basically I'm going to be showing you how you can take your slides from just sort of boring to this and this and to this. So there are just five easy things that I do to make my slides look pretty and exciting and not just boring white or black background, solid color background. I like to have um, a little bit more going on in my slides. I'm gonna start off, just open up a new Google slide uh, um, presentation. The first thing I do when I open up my slides is that I click to go to a new slide because I like to use these text boxes better than this first one. I just delete that first one. Here is where the first step comes in. I like to have a theme for my slides. I usually change the theme every month. So for March, I'll have green. For February, I'll have pink or red. Um, April, I'll have yellow. January, I like to have blue. And I do some sort of like photo background. So I like to have a theme. I just think it, one, makes it easy when you're going through your slides. You know, um, if, you know, if you're looking at a pink Google, Google Slides presentation, then that means it's probably from the month of February and so on. So that's the first step. The second thing I do is I add a background image um, to every slide. So basically what I do is I'm gonna go in to my slide, go to slide up here in this menu bar, go down to change background, and click choose image. And what I do um, is I just go to the Google image search and I look up whatever color I'm looking for and then background. So if I'm looking for pink background, then I get all of these fun options. So like the one I'm using for this month of February is this one. So I'm gonna choose this one. And then you have it as your background and it just, it looks clean. It just looks good. And then, all right, my next thing that I do is I add text boxes. I'm a big text box person. Um, I add the text boxes to every slide. So what I'm gonna do with just with this big text box is I'm just going to um, change the color. So go up to fill color and um, you can customize. I'm honestly not that advanced. I just pick a color. Um, let's, mm, let's do this one. So it's just like, it kind of goes along with the theme. It's pink, but it's it, it helps the text um, stand out more uh, because it's not against that harsher pink. Um, so I add that text box. So for, for me, we always have to have bell work. We call it a do now. So I'm gonna insert another text box and I'm just going to insert that at the top here so that, um, and I'm going to fill it. I'm gonna make it white and I'm going to add borders. So that is the next thing I like to do. I like to add borders to my text boxes. 
I'm gonna go to four point just so it really stands out. So um, in this text box, you can put your bell work and whatnot. And so it really stands out because this is how I make mine. I have my bell work and then I have my agenda. One, two, three. So like, this is the first thing that my students will see every day. And at the top, I always have the date. This, this is what they see when they come in every single day. Um, and I like to do the boxed bell work because they know exactly where they're gonna start. Um, and that's what they do right when they come into my Zoom class. Last thing I like to do is to add transparent images, whether it is your Bitmoji or it's always fun to go into just images. And here's the key. These images need to be transparent images. Um, they need, so I could look up, let's see, um, football. I like to, the keyword that I normally use is clip art because normally that gives it a transparent background. Um, so let's say I want to use this first picture. I'll choose it, insert. Um, and so it has that transparent background. You can literally put it anywhere. It just looks so much better. Um, so yeah, that is how I upgrade my uh, my Google Slides to look good, but it's very quick, it's very simple. Um, what I do every week, basically so for each month, I'm lazy. So how I like to um, go from week to week is I will literally just copy, I'll make a copy of this entire presentation and then I will rename it so that I just already have the presentation, I just have to fill in the different information for the slides, like the date and all of the content. But other than that, then the outline is all there. So that's my little secret on how to save time. Um, it might be something that you already know. But, um, so those are the five things that I do that really upgrade my Google Slides to just look a bit better, a little bit more exciting for the kids. I teach sixth graders, so, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments what else you'd like to see on my channel. This channel is still fairly new. Um, so yeah, have an awesome day. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.